Hey traders, this is Travis from 24FX. Today is Tuesday, October 9th. We're going to be doing this weekly. Every Tuesday, I'm going to be giving tips either on day trading te technical analysis or psychology. And today, I really want to touch down on the psychology. I think that's the most important thing in day trading. Uh, most traders honestly believe it's all about the strategies, the techniques, the signals, the indicators. And at the end of the day, none of that really matters. And my outlook on that is the reason this. As day traders, we're trading against supercomputers that don't have emotions. And they're killing you guys in the game. And the reason why I say that is because they have a strategy. And a strategy is one to none in the sense that I have a strategy, you have a strategy, someone else has a strategy. We have swing traders, we have day traders, we have scalpers, but we all make money, or at least the 10% of us. And then the other 90% of traders are failing. And why are those 90% of traders failing? It's because they're emotion. So today I'm going to be talking about something that's important to me. I'll share some stories about how I realized this was um, the, set, the 14 stages or also known as the 14 cycles of, of investors. And how I learned about this was actually going through a breakup. Um, recently, what happened was my stepmom gave me advice and she's like, hey, she's a psychiatrist. Um, and she gave me advice saying that, you know what? Average people go through seven stages of grief. And... You're going to go through that in the same way in trading, but there's actually double that. There's 14. And I'll show you that on the chart. Just bear with me. So these are the 14 stages of grief for traders. And then we have the seven stages of grief for individuals. And we're going to stay here with it. So we go through shock and denial, pain and guilt, anger, we go to depression, then we have this upward turn, then we work through it, and then we have hope or acceptance. And it's the same thing for day traders. We have optimism in the beginning. We have excitement. We have thrill. We have euphoria. We have anxious. We have denial. We have fear. We have depression. We have panic. Um, we can have complacency, dep dependence, depression, hope, reflection, reflection and optimism. And I'll break these down in waves and stages. So let's go with normal life, right? If you ever had a loss of a family member or a breakup or what have you, you're always going to be in the shock or denial or in the beginning of something, you know, something's happened, but you don't know what's going on. Then you have pain and guilt, either or. You know, if it's the pain of losing a loved one or the guilt of doing something wrong to someone, then you have anger, uh, anger, either you're blaming someone or you're blaming yourself. And then that stage really puts you in depression. And I know that people go through this every single day. Yeah, I know we're here to talk about day trading, but at the end of the day, we're all human and we go through these emotions and honestly, it's okay, but it takes time and you need to realize what your triggers are to these things. And then after you get out of depression, you know, you're in an upswing and you're like, hey, you know what? Life can be better and things get a little brighter, you know, and then you're working through it, And those are the baby steps. Um, and then at the end, you know, you, you have acceptance, you have hope, you ha have a brighter outlook on the future. And then you're moving on from whatever that issue you had in your past. So we break this down into a trading standpoint. We have optimistic, you know, you're optimistic in the market. You saw somebody on YouTube or you know what? You saw a Wolf of Wall Street and you're like, you know what? I can do penny stocks or I can do Forex, you know, I can trade the market. So you're excited and you're thrilled. You're like, wow, I feel great. I'm about to be a true investor. And you have euphoria. And um, at this point, you're doing anything and everything to make that money. And you probably have either a motion towards the money and nine out of 10 traders usually do. They don't understand that they need to step away from the money, have better trades. And those separate the 90% of failures 
to the 10%. Um, the 10% of traders actually focus on good trades and good risk management and good strategies and journal keeping. So back to these emotions. Then we have anxiousness because let's say the chart, you know, is moving against us. And I'll, I'll, I'll show that. You know, let's say we have the market, right? And you was up going long on the market. These are the same emotions that traders go through. We see them in the market every day. We have excitement, the euphoria, all of these things, and then depression, and all these things are right here. And these are the waves of emotions the market, the traders going through every single day. I, I apologize. Screen is acting weird. Let's get it back up. There we go. So these are the same waves that we're going through. The denial, the fear, the depression, the panic. We have that right here in the charts. This is what it is. Same wave, same motion. And this is not something that I just doctor up. This is current market. Current market on a minute chart. Okay, so like this is happening every day in the market. But you have to understand why. So when you have these denial moments, you're going long and you're like, you know what? Ah, you know what? I know it's going to go come back, but you don't have a system. You don't have any um, logic to back that claim up that, hey, the market's going to reverse on you. So now you went from denial to fair because now you're either 10 points if you're trading stocks or bonds or you're 10, 20 pips down in the hole and now you have fair. Now you're in depression after you... You got stopped out or the your account got closed out from your trade. Now you're depressed and now you're panicking because you don't know if you can trade again. So now you're in fear on, on your next trade. And then you have depression because you're like, you know what? I don't even know if I have the, the confidence to trade. So now you're looking for another strategy. You jump from strategy to strategy. And I would say this, find a strategy and stick to it. That's what keeps the 10% the of traders in trading. They're not jumping from trade to trade. They're actually sticking to one trade and focusing on it. Maybe they have two or three strategies, maybe the max four, and they stick to those. And if they don't trade until they see those setups. And those traders become hopeful. They're relieved. They're optimistic. And it's the same cycle. And this is part of the, the market. Um, even the 10% of traders who are successful, they are losing, but just not losing big chunks. And I'm going to leave you guys with those thoughts and maybe you can do your own research, but I am going to leave you with my tip to help you with this. And my tip is this. I'm going to give you a homework assignment. You can do this on your personal time. Ask yourself, why did you start trading? Why do you think you wanted to trade? Okay. Then your second question you may want to ask or write down is, what is it about trading that you particularly attracted you? What Was it a movie? Was it a friend? Did you see it on YouTube? What is about tra trading attracted you to this? Because you have to figure out your whys in trading to keep you motivated to move forward, to get you out of those depression or bad moments a lot faster. Third question is, what do you want from trading? What would you like to get from the market besides money. Maybe you want a boat. Maybe you want a house. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to help your friends and family to get out of financial debt. What do you enjoy about trading? And what do you not like about trading? Because if you can figure out what you like and what you don't like, you'll figure out a better strategy for you. Maybe you're better suited as a swing trader. Maybe you're better as a scalper. You know, you have to figure out your personality. You know, you have to sit down and figure out, hey, I'm impatient. Maybe I need to be in a trade for less than 10 minutes. Or, hey, you know what? Trading is boring. I don't want to sit at my desk all day. Maybe I want to sit and hold trades longer. So you're a day trader or an investor. So you have to figure these things out. And then the last question, why is trading important to you? You know, why? Why? If, if you can't trade, let's say one day the financial market's gone, would it hurt you? Would it not hurt you? Like, why? Do you have a passion for this? So ask yourself those questions. Okay. Once again, this is Travis on a day trading tip from 24FX. Thank you for watching. 
We will also have webinars on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And we will also give educational videos. And we also have a great growing community of young traders, new traders, and old traders, all willing to help one another, a great community. So if you're out there, feel like you're trading alone or you need help with your trading emotions, you can come down to trading 24 hours and we can help you out. Take care.